In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate markup costs. Markup is the amount added to the cost of an item. So let's pretend that you run a grocery store and you are selling apples. You buy the apples from the farm at, let's say, $1 per pound. And to make a profit, you decide to sell it for $2 per pound. The difference between the selling price and the cost that you bought the item is called the markup. With that being said, the first question reads, a mixer sells for $109.98 and has a markup of $36.18. We want to find the cost. In other words, they're asking, how much was this item before the markup was added? I'm going to set this number as S for sell price and this number as M. We don't know the cost, the original cost, but we do know that it is being increased by $36.18 to give us 109.98. We have to do some simple algebra here, where we move this number over to the other side. Notice that this number is positive, so when you move it over to the other side, it actually becomes negative. Now, if we subtract these two numbers, 109.98 minus 36.18, we end up with the cost of this item originally purchased from the factory, let's say, $73.80. In question number two, a computer stand sells for three eight five. What is the markup if it is forty five percent of the selling price? What is the cost? So it's selling for three eighty five, and they're telling us that the markup, which I'll represent as M, is forty five percent of that. Now, of course, we can't use percentages in our equations. We need the decimal version. We divide forty five percent by one hundred percent, and we end up with zero point four five. So let's see how much this company marked up the item in which it purchased from the factory. 385 times 0 0.45. They marked it up by $173.25. $173.25. They also want the cost that they purchased the item stock from the factory. So let's go ahead and rewrite that formula. We have C plus M is equal to the sell price. 173.25 is equal to 385. And we rearrange, we bring that over, just like before, C is equal to 385 minus 173.25. 385 minus 173.25. We end up with 211.75. So they bought it from the factory for 211.75 and they marked it up by $173.25. This means that if this item were to go on sale more than 45%, let's say it went on sale for 50%, the store that's selling the item is actually losing because of this markup. It went up by 45% and they're actually losing after 45%. Last question, a refrigerator cost $489.99 and was marked up by $100. You simply add these two numbers together, C plus M, and you get 589.99. In our next video, we'll be discussing markdown costs, and that right there is how to calculate markup costs.